Well, leaders in Flagler Beach say they are concerned the sand is being sucked out to sea. And now they are working on preserving what they have left and making sure the erosion doesn't get even worse. News 6's Catherine Silver is in Flagler County with a closer look at what's being done to get results. Walking here along Flagler Beach, the problem is clear. There's about a six foot drop off at the sand dunes. This is exactly why the city is hosting an emergency meeting tomorrow. They hope to find some sort of solution. The slope of sand on Flagler Beach looks more like a straight line these days. The dunes drop off. The steep descent is a struggle for beachgoers and locals left asking. What happened to the beaches? John Crane has grown up surfing here with his father, JJ. Have you ever seen it like this? No. Yeah, and I've been surfing this pier since probably 1982. It's a six foot drop at least in some areas near the pier. The primary problem area, the stretch from 5th Street South to north of 3rd Street along A1A. There is normally a lot of sand right here, but somehow it is disappearing. I don't know it's because of the tide or something. The tide is part of the problem. City manager William Whitson has his theory. It's probably a combination of tidal action, um, the supermoon forces, and then potentially sea level rise. Uh, all combining in a very bad way, in a way that we've never seen here. He says the city has called an emergency meeting Wednesday morning. What if we get an event? We, we need to be uh, shifting from defense to offense. News 6 has shown you some of the problems in the past in Flagler. In February, the county looked at a long-range plan for beach renourishment. Since then, storms and erosion continue to cause concern. Business owners on the beachfront have noticed the change. Boy, that water level is a lot closer than it ever was back in the days. Lori Brennan sees it from her shop Bahama Mamas across A1A. I'd like to see some engineers that really know what they're doing <laughs> do something with the dunes and try to, you know, replenish and replace them. The city says an engineer has been out to evaluate. This is kind of history for our community. At least we're going to raise the concern and the question. Whitson hopes with the city commission's approval Wednesday, he can get started on an action plan. What are possible solutions? That we would advance the schedule possibly um, and that maybe we could uh, put sand in specific locations uh, we would need engineering expertise to tell us where. Both locals and the city agree that something needs to be done. The meeting is at 9 o'clock on Wednesday morning at City Hall. We'll keep you updated with any developments. In Flagler County, I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.